सो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्राज आई एस गैज हेयर वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट द सेशन द पी डी एफ फॉर टू डे सेशन हैज ऑलरेडी बिन अपलोडेड ऑन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप सो यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप we are just about to start so we are just about to start the pdf for today's session has already been uploaded on our telegram group here we are about to start this session चलिए सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन लेट सी वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज देयर फॉर अस ओके मोहित नंदिनी रोहित यमनदीप संतोष नरजरी गहन विकी माही एशिया आरती पूजा तन्मय गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो लेट सी वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज देयर फॉर अस सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन सो दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट बाय नन अदर देन ब्रूसली तो ही सेइंग दैट डिफीट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ माइंड no one is ever defeated until defeat has been accepted as reality this is what we have to understand in our life it's all there in my in our mind mind is really very important because your thoughts will develop into your actions okay and your actions are going to give you results so the game is quite simple so if you have negative thoughts okay negative thoughts will develop into wrong actions and wrong actions will result into undesirable result okay so this is what the whole idea is about it's all about your mindset so that's why multiple you can say individuals personalities have stated that like we need to have a positive state of mind kuch bhi kare पॉजिटिव स्टेट ऑफ माइंड होना बहुत जरूरी है दैट्स द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर सो इफ यू हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू अचीव योर गोल देन डेफिनेटली इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू स्टॉप यू शुड स्टॉप वर्किंग यू शुड कीप पुटिंग अप योर एफर्ट ओके कीप पुटिंग अप योर एफर्ट एंड दैट एफर्ट मस्ट बी पुट एज पर योर विजडम so this is important part here that we need to use our wisdom while putting it in our effort so that we can take that those particular actions those particular efforts to the desirable results sometimes 
the result may not appear in the near time but if you keep doing things then definitely it will bring some positive results for you okay so never you can say never feel defeated in your life there is nothing called defeat okay defeat naam ka koi shabd nahi hota hai ye cheez aapko baat samajhni hai it's all state of your mind okay this is how things are done now we'll move to the next part aage chalte hain dekhte hain aur kya khas hai yahan pe so here we have this thing now to salvage a world cup supreme court sends ball back to the AIFF court okay so this is what is happening right now so all india football federation okay now as per the earlier instruction of the supreme court supreme court appointed a you can say committee of administrators now this formation of committee of administration doesn't go well with the rules that are there so fifa have some rules and accordingly international sports bodies they have some rule and one of the rule says that you need to have elected bodies okay aapko elected body hona zaruri hai means that here in case of uh, football like all india football federation it need to be an elected body now the problem is this in india the sports authorities are really in a bad shape okay there are whole lot issues so you talk about multiple sports authorities here in india there are corruption related issues okay uh, people who are in the management they have no link with the sports aise aise janta baithi hai jinka sports ke sath koi link nahi hai okay so you should know this thing earlier the same type of problem appeared in the bcci case as well and at that time as well supreme court appointed a committee of administrators okay now those committee of administrators will comprise of people who are not elected who elected nahi honge they are appointed okay so same type of problem is appearing here so now supreme court has made some changes because in october under 17 fifa world cup is going to be played in india and women's world cup is going to be played in india and if your body is not recognized at that time by fifa then definitely world cup cannot be carried out okay so this is all you can say calculation that that supreme court is doing here so ye sari कैलकुलेशन जो है सुप्रीम कोर्ट यहाँ पे कर रही है कुसुम माय वॉइस इज नॉट लो लाइक आई हैव अ डिवाइस इन माय हैंड ओके सो माय वॉइस इज नॉट लो प्लीज डू चेक एपरेटस एट योर एंड ओके नाउ करप्शन दिस इज दिस इज हाउ मींस इट्स अ मेजर इशू सो टू रिफॉर्म दीज स्पोर्ट्स बॉडीज सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टार्टेड अपॉइंटिंग कमिंग अप विद द अपॉइंट कमेटी ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स एंड मल्टीपल एजेंसीज दे आर डूइंग दैट but here it appears that due to the required reasons okay they may have to change their stance and this is what is happening here to yahi cheez hua hai supreme court on monday terminated the mandate of its committee of administrators to manage the affairs of all india football federation okay to overcome the suspension of indian football body by fifa so this is what the whole issue is about ye sara mamla is cheez ka hai uh national pride national image should be the priority and, and accordingly the supreme court is acting here okay this is how this is how the things are now uh ye sari baat hai yahan pe okay so we'll move to the next part aage chalte hain so is man plotting attack on indian leader held this is what russia is claiming that they have been able to successfully neutralize an is is sympathizer or terrorist who was planning to target indian leader okay so this is what uh, russia is claiming here but it's a serious issue serious issue okay and uh, it is not just about the isis al qaeda have also issued you know multiple statements regarding targeting indians or india per se okay so that's the news here other than that there is nothing much most jammu and kashmir parties oppose voting rights for outsiders okay so this is what is happening now since article 370 is not there anymore okay so what is happening here that as it is the rule in other parts of the country so if you are moving from say uh, haryana to mumbai so you can get yourself registered in mumbai as a voter आप अपने आप को मुंबई में जाके एज अ वोटर रजिस्टर करवा सकते हो ओके अर्लियर दैट थिंग वाज नॉट देयर इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बिकॉज ऑफ द स्पेशल स्टेटस दैट दे हैड बट नाउ बट नाउ द प्रोविजंस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीपल्स एक्ट 1951 दे आर बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड इन द यूटी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड अकॉर्डिंगली 
now people from outside their states okay who may not be having the who may not be having the uh, dom <clears throat> hello who may not be having the proper documents can still go ahead with this can still go ahead with this point here okay so they can register themselves as voters so this is what this point is about and definitely the pro the kashmir based parties are not you can say taking up uh, as a means they are not liking it okay so according to them it is not a positive development so this is what this particular news is about okay so we'll move to the next part now we'll directly move to the editorial sections we'll see what exactly is there for us okay so here we have these editorials pointing towards multiple things and the first one is regarding the 20th party congress in china okay so it is expected that in the this party congress as well mr z jinping will be accepted as a leader okay so he will get the third term as the president and this is how things are going to be okay it means that there will be no change in china's policy okay so china's policy is going to remain same and in this editorial it is being mentioned when he became president in 2012 okay so since then till now like lot of things have changed china has become more assertive about multiple things okay uh china is considering that the international order that is being established earlier that was established earlier is now uh, under distortion okay to kafi cheeze badal rahi hain yahan pe and specifically the hegemony of us and west is going down okay so this is how things are taking place right now and in this direction uh the chinese communist party it is going to remain you can say a dominant thing in china nothing is going to change internally okay internally kuch nahi hoga so this is what the point is about so this party congress is significant as it is being held at a time when china sees the period as one of a great disorder okay so there is great disorder going on right now multiple things are happening specifically the international bodies that were there so including the united nation wto okay so they are appearing to be weak kahin na kahin wo sab weak hoti hui nazar aa rahi hain we have seen this uh, specifically in the ukraine russia war okay so because these bodies were quite ineffective to deal with you know this type of crisis specifically un to kuch bhi clarity nahi thi un to bilkul bhi kuch nahi kar paya okay this is what the whole point is about this is what the thing is about now mr z is almost certain to be anointed as a really means he will be considered for the third term he is having no doubt about it he is having clarity about it okay cheeze bilkul clear hain aur aisa hi hoga okay cheeze bilkul clear hain aur aisa hi hoga and uh, like in the external realm today chinese leadership believe that the united nation has become dysfunctional okay and is no longer able to maintain the global peace so this is how things are and they are saying that this is the new world and we have to establish our political security okay and they are trying to protect it and further the point is this they have this threat of containment from outside as well that outside world is going to put pressure on china to contain it specifically the us and the allies and this is what they may not like it this is what they may not like it this is a fundamental problem that they are they are facing right now okay further like this is critical for china to escalate its aggressive maneuver especially in the indo pacific region to ye indo pacific region mein aisa ho raha hai theek hai na to china apna jo hai aggressive maneuvering karna chahta hai and they further want more power in the hands of mr z so un aggressive maneuvering ko karne ke liye bhi you require complete support and this is what they are expecting that this you can say the chinese communist party congress is going to give more legitimacy to mr z okay he will have more power and this is how china will be able to achieve its target okay so this was the this was the point here other than that uh, on this page there is nothing much it's a political thing we will not be dealing with this okay political editorial hai 
not the centers of learning yet so here they are pointing towards anganwadi kendras okay so anganwadis were established as a day care okay uh, for as part of integrated child development scheme so this is what we need to know integrated child development scheme and anganwadi is the integral part of this and accordingly like uh, like the target is that 3 to 6 years of age of children there you can say nutritional help should be facilitated by that ye iska main logic yahan pe nazar aata hai ki jo 3 se 6 ki umar ke hain unki nutritional health ko yahan pe improve kiya jayega that's the logic okay that's the logic now the point is this it has not been able to achieve its goal okay whatever its goal were it has not been able to achieve that goal तो यही प्रॉब्लम सबसे ज्यादा नजर आती है कि अपना गोल ये बिल्कुल भी अचीव नहीं कर पाया क्यों नहीं कर पाया तो वो आप देखेंगे सी इट्स ऑल अबाउट द माइंड सेट एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन दैट आर बीइंग डन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर यू कैन से इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंटर तो वहां पे क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन क्या है इस चीज को समझना जरूरी है सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पेरेंट्स टूडे दे डिमांड दे एक्सपेक्ट Uh, the schools, specifically these early schools, to give some skills related to the English speaking. Okay, and those English speaking skills are missing here. So, वो English speaking skills कहीं ना कहीं यहाँ पे miss हो जाते हैं. Then that's why it's a problematic thing. Okay, this is the reason why people are not able to means they are not willing to send their children. So here we have this Anganwadi system and it is working here. so which is serving 30 million children in the age group of 3 to 6 okay and uh, there are 1.3 million centers across the country and it's a really big chain big number of centers are there okay and this icds scheme is considered as a really important tool to basically to reap the demographic dividend dekhi agar aap apne youth ko taiyar karna chahte hain so that effort should be there right from the childhood so if you are missing on these points you will not be able to achieve your target that's the basic funda so here the target is this that for next 25 years if we are giving them adequate health support nutrition and educational needs then definitely those you know children are going to be part of our future generation and they will like it will assure that those people will have productivity in the future कि भी उनकी प्रोडक्टिविटी जो है वो वाकई फ्यूचर के अंदर अच्छी रहने वाली है ओके इफ यू आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स राइट नाउ बट द पॉइंट इज दिस इफ चिल्ड्रन इफ पेरेंट्स आर नॉट विलिंग टू सेंड देयर चिल्ड्रन टू दीज पर्टिकुलर सेंटर्स व्हाट कैन वी डू हियर आप क्या कर क्या कर सकते हो इस चीज के अंदर अगर पेरेंट्स अपने बच्चों को यहाँ पे भेजना ही नहीं चाहते सो वी हैव मल्टीपल यू कैन से एग्जाम्पल्स हेयर सो नाउ लाइक there are issues like low attendance parents simply do not perceive anganwadi centers as centers of learning okay so according to parents it is just a you can say place where children are getting food khana mil jata hai inko bachcho ko aur parents is tarike se soch rahe hain now the point is this the point is this why it is happening so they say, they consider it as just a you can say passive recipient of ration this is also the mindset that is there from the sarkari side सरकार को भी ऐसा लगता है कि ये लोग सिर्फ राशन लेने यहाँ पे आते हैं ओके पेरेंट्स दे सी इंग्लिश एज अ गेट वे टू इम्प्रूव देयर सोशल स्टेटस ओके लोगों का ऐसा मानना है कि अगर वो इंग्लिश सीखते हैं सो इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज टू बी यू कैन से एन इम्पोर्टेंट स्किल्स अलोंग विद मैथ नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस चिल्ड्रन हुर एनरोल्ड देयर दे आर नॉट इम्बाइब्ड विद दीज टाइप ऑफ स्किल्स अब ये सारी चीजें तो वहां पर सिखाई नहीं जाती ओके okay. ये सारी चीजें तो वहां पे सिखाई ही नहीं जाती दिस इज द रीजन दिस इज द रीजन दैट दैट पेरेंट्स डोंट वांट टू सेंड देयर चिल्ड्रन टू दीज आंगनवाड़ी सो वी हैव टू डाइवर्सिफाई ओके वी हैव टू डाइवर्सिफाई यू हैव टू इनकॉर्पोरेट यू नो व्हाट पीपल आर डिमांडिंग अगर आप वाकई इस आंगनवाड़ी को अच्छा बनाना चाहते तो वट एवर इज पीपल एक्सपेक्टेशन वी शुड इंक्लूड दो थिंग्स इन दीज आंगनवाड़ी केंद्र ओके एक्सपेक्टेशंस को पूरा करोगे डेफिनेटली थिंग्स विल इंप्रूव दिस इज व्हाट द होल पॉइंट इज अबाउट अदर देन दैट देयर इज नथिंग मच द कंट्रोवर्सी अराउंड द डेली इज एक्सरसाइज पॉलिसी ओके सो मनीष सिसोदिया काफी न्यूज़ में चल रहे हैं एंड देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स और द द सीबीआई हैज रजिस्टर्ड अ केस सेइंग दैट लाइक देयर आर प्रोसीजरल लैपसेस ओके दीस आर द एलिगेशंस ऑन मनीष सिसोदिया 
so like government for scrapped earlier you can say excise policy from august 1 2022 okay ab ye scrap kyun kiya gaya government is saying delhi government is saying it is primarily because of the indecisiveness of the lg ki bhi lg saab kuch kar nahi rahe the isliye jo hai ye policy hame scrap karni padi theek hai this is their point of view this is their point of view now now like what happened during under this new policy so number of liquor vendors they increased from around 630 to 850 okay uh, like delhi government eased out the liquor license system earlier these liquor license were highly you can say regulated but now under the new regime it was eased out to promote the business okay so new policy marked the exit of state government from liquor retail in the city so this was also done ki we ab sare private theke hi honge okay no sarkari theka and uh, in this way things were you can say done by the delhi government that it will provide better environment to do the business and the target was that it is going to increase the revenue for the delhi government as well so as per this new excise policy the collection was nearly 5400 crore okay to acha kaasa collection jyada aaya hai yahan pe delhi government ka to fayda to hua hai earlier with the old policy they collected nearly 4000 crore but now it was 5400 crore okay so it was a significant jump but this all problem have started here bhi ye sari problem yahan pe jo hai ye shuru ho gayi thi theek hai na the cbi issue and all so delhi government scrapped it the point is this the lieutenant governor he recommended a cbi probe into the new policy which culminated in the raids and these raids were carried out okay so the allegation is that that aap leaders they provide undue financial favor to the liquor licenses and this is what aam aadmi party is denying earlier delhi government was also thinking about few more things like like number of dry days were reduced from 20 to just 3 and there was also a proposal to reduce the age of alcohol consumption in delhi from 25 to 18 but it was not proceeded with that so these things were carried out okay and it became a major controversy so people are saying that it's you can say because of the political vendetta they are carrying out with this ki bhi iske piche political vendetta hi reason hai but we don't know what is the exact reason okay so uh, we'll wait for the charge sheet to be filed and all and whole activity to be started okay court dekhegi ki kya hai iske andar mamla this is what the whole idea is about other than that there is nothing much kuch khas nahi hai yahan pe okay so we'll move to the next part now fearing ban center rushes to supreme court gets relief on ioa affairs dekho fifa mamla fifa wala mamla bhi atka hua tha aur ye indian olympic association ka mamla bhi atka hua hai so this is how things are happening see we haven't established a quality sports management authority to is desh ki sabse bade nuksan to ye hai ki hamare yahan pe sports management authority achhi nahi hai and like you we need serious reforms about it so this is how things are other point is this to what extent supreme court and intervene kis had tak supreme court ka intervene karna jo hai wo valid hai see the point is this you can raise doubts over supreme court but because supreme court doesn't have the experience in handling the sports sports in the sense sports management you have to generate revenue as well aapko revenue bhi generate karna padta hai telecast rights hote hain okay those things are also to be looked into so it's a business thing so the court appointed at the committee of administrators might not be you can say competent enough to handle it तो ये सारे मामले जरूरी नहीं है कि कोर्ट के अंदर जो आप कमेटी अपॉइंट करते हो उनको आते हो ठीक है ना दिस इज हाउ दिस इज हाउ होल थिंग इज अबाउट ओके दिस इज हाउ द होल थिंग इज अबाउट सर इज इट नीड टू कवर द ऑल पॉलिटिकल रिलेटेड न्यूज इन न्यूज पेपर नो डोंट कवर द पॉलिटिकल न्यूज ओके डोंट कवर द पोलिटिकल न्यूज दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स आर ये सारी चीजें हैं एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बेंच टू हियर दिल्ली प्ली ओके सो अगेन दिस इशू इज अरप्टिंग there is no clarity over you can say powers of delhi government and the union okay so powers ko leke abhi bhi problem atki hui hai and uh, this particular time it is related to the powers related to transfers and posting of the officials so right now 
as per the present scheme this is this exercise is being carried out by the union government ya lg saab jo hai wo ye kaam kar rahe hain and delhi government is not having the powers to carry out transfer postings okay so this is how this is how the thing is this is a major debate here bilkul ye zaruri bhi hai yahan pe okay uh, other than that there is nothing much kuch khas nahi hai idhar okay now panel begins talks on msp natural farming okay so here let me show you few things so let's let's cover some of the past years question on msp to aapko malum hona chahiye upsc kis tarike ke question puch raha hai i have brought multiple questions please attempt this particular question please attempt this particular question here so it is right there in front of you so in prelims 2019 there was this question the economic cost of food grains to food corporation of india is minimum support price and bonus if paid to the farmer plus ab batao farmer ko kya kya paise diye jate hain and what exactly this msp will include msp kya kya include karega okay msp kya kya include karega so the point is this like it was relatively relatively easier to understand it's saying that procurement incidentals and the distribution cost okay now all these things may fall under the procurement incidentals do aapka transportation ka kharcha aur ye sari cheeze hain ye aapka procurement incidentals mein fall kar sakte hain and in this way in this way the right answer to this particular question is c it includes procurement in, in incidentals and distribution cost आपके यहाँ पे प्रोक्योरमेंट इंसिडेंटल और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉस्ट दोनों को ही जो है ये कवर करता है आपका एमएसपी दिस इज वॉट वी शुड नो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज वॉट वी शुड नो ओके ये चीज हमें अच्छे से मालूम होनी चाहिए नाउ प्लीज हैव अ लुक इन 2015 दिस वाज द क्वेश्चन दैट यूपीएससी डिड आस्क सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज रिगार्डिंग द फेयर एंड रिम्यूनरेटिव प्राइस ऑफ शुगर केन ओके you should know this thing the, there is slight difference when it comes to sugar cane sugar cane ke case mein thoda mamla different hota hai so please do read about it okay please do read about it now it is saying that the fair and remunerative price of sugar cane is approved by who approves this particular you can say fair and remunerative price of sugar cane who approves it so i would like to tell you the final approval authority is cabinet committee on economic affairs now please pay attention price is suggested by some other agency okay price ko suggest karta hai koi aur agency approval comes from cabinet committee on economic affairs headed by prime minister of india same thing happens with msp as well msp is also approved by cabinet committee on economic affairs okay cabinet committee on economic affairs headed by prime minister so this is this is how we need to you can say look into things is tarike se hame thodi taiyari karni hai apni now there was another question okay please have a look over this question please have a look over this question okay so the old question yes चलिए चलिए यस प्लीज हैव अ लुक ओवर दिस क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग सो हेयर सेवन डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स आर मेंशन सेवन डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स आर मेंशन एंड इट इज सेइंग दैट द कैबिनेट कमेटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स हैज अनाउंस मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस फॉर व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग अबव again prelims 2018 question in front of you okay prelims 2018 question in front of you so it is saying that cabinet committee on economic affairs minimum support price jo hai aapki announce karte hain bataiye which all crops are included which all crops are included in that this is what they are asking okay this is what they are asking so this type of question is really very tricky bahut hi tricky hai and you have to use the elimination method कहीं ना कहीं एलिमिनेशन मेथड का इस्तेमाल करके आपको इसे करना चाहिए ओके द पॉइंट इज दिस आई होप यू गाइस कैन इजीली आइडेंटिफाई कॉफी हेयर 
now coffee is a cash crop okay and primarily it is done it is done not for the you can say it is primarily done for the commercial purpose and there are big estates coffee ke bade bade estate hote hain so if you are able to identify this particular catch that coffee is not covered means minimum support price is not announced for coffee you can easily eliminate the options because here third will be eliminated teen isme bhi hai teen isme bhi hai and three isme bhi hai so as these are eliminated you will be left with only one option that is your b part this is how this is how we have to attempt these type of questions again i am telling you these are you can say the tricky ones cheeze kafi tricky hoti hain iske andar thode alag type ke question hai to aapko thoda sa identify karna padega thode apne wisdom pe dimag ko halka sa jor dal ke is type ke question ko kiya jata hai okay so here we have prelims 2020 question so in front of you it is saying that Which one of the following can be considered as public investment in agriculture? बताइए इनमें से कौन सा जो है public investment माना जाएगा एग्रीकल्चर के अंदर ओके प्लीज ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ इट इज सेंग पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट इज समथिंग विच विल प्रोड्यूस विच विल एनहांस द प्रोडक्टिविटी जो आपकी प्रोडक्टिविटी को बढ़ाने में हेल्प करेगा ओके okay? and you have to mention that sure sure 100% it will be helpful 100% ye jo hai help karega 100% jo hai ye aapka badhayega okay this is what the logic is about they are saying in india which one of the following can be considered as public investment now first is minimum fixing minimum support price for agriculture produce of all crops so if MSP is announced for agriculture produce of all crops. Will it be an investment? क्या वाकई आपको लगता है वो investment है? क्या आपको लगता है वो investment है? Because investment should produce positive results. Investment जो है आपका वो positive results देने चाहिए. Okay? Now the point is this. We have seen how minimum support price for uh, rice and wheat. Okay? it has impacted the it has impacted the cropping pattern bhai kahin na kahin hamara cropping pattern jo hai wo yahan pe impact hua hai okay so by considering this point this will not be an appropriate option minimum support price announce karne se kuch nahi hota hai theek hai na productivity ke andar kuch khas farak nahi padne wala hai next point is this कंप्यूटराइजेशन ऑफ प्राइमरी एग्रीकल्चर क्रेडिट सोसाइटीज यस इट विल प्ले इंपॉर्टेंट रोल बिल्कुल कंप्यूटराइजेशन का बिल्कुल असर पड़ेगा सोशल कैपिटल डेवलपमेंट सोशल कैपिटल डेवलपमेंट मीन्स यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन हेल्थ यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन एजुकेशन ऑफ द रूरल फोक्स जो गांव की जनता है उनकी हेल्थ को इंप्रूव करने में आप हेल्प कर रहे हो उनको एक तरीके से एजुकेशन देने में हेल्प कर रहे हो एंड इन दिस वे like you enhance their capacity so definitely it is also uh, you can say public investment in agriculture then free supply to farmer no this is not public investment okay this is not public investment again waiver of agricultural loan bilkul bhi nahi hai ji nuksan hota hai isse theek hai na and the sixth is this shut option hai setting up of cold storage facilities by the government Definitely sixth is right. So right answer to this particular question is two, three, and six. Okay, two, three, and six. This is the right answer. This is the right answer. This is the right answer. Okay, two, three, and six. चलिए. So we'll move to the next part. आगे देखते हैं. Now again a prelims 2020 question in front of you. So they are asking which one of the following. फैक्टर्स और पॉलिसीज वर अफेक्टिंग द प्राइस ऑफ राइस इन इंडिया तो आप बताइए कि प्राइस ऑफ राइस इन इंडिया कैसे यहां पे इंपैक्ट होता है ओके प्राइस ऑफ राइस इन इंडिया किन चीजों पे डिपेंड करता है दिस इज वॉट दे आर आस्किंग दिस इज वॉट दे आर आस्किंग 
so this is what you have to tell is it minimum support price is it government trading is it government stockpiling or consumer subsidies which all factors will be included in deciding which all factors will be included in deciding the price of rice in india price of rice in india ke andar kya kaun se factor yahan pe judte hain this is what they did ask okay so simple sa point is this now price of rice means retail price they are asking that consumer kisko pay karta hai consumer kaun sa price pay karta hai okay farmer your food corporation of india is basically going to procure at msp theek hai ji to msp to include hoga yahan pe okay this food corporation of india is going to is going to further you can say sell those products this food corporation of india is going to further sell those products so government trading bhi aa gaya beech mein then there is a stock piling cost now this food corporation of india it is managing the warehouses okay yahan pe warehouse management bhi hota hai and that has some cost so government stock piling cost is also included and then finally consumer subsidies are also to be looked into so suppose kari agar aap pds ka hai pds ke andar rice lene ja rahe ho so it's a, it's a subsidized in that case rice thoda sasta milega okay rice thoda sasta milega that's the point here that's the point here so when you calculate all these things you will find that d is the right answer okay you will find that d is the right answer so in this way in this way we have to attempt these questions again there is a question again there is a question in front of you prelims 2020 consider the following statements they are saying that in the case of all cereals pulses and oil seeds the procurement at minimum support price is unlimited in any state and ut of india so you tell me one thing have you ever seen a minimum support price to be unlimited kya lagta hai aapko minimum support price unlimited ho sakta hai means does your government have you can say unlimited amount of money kya sarkar ke paas unlimited paisa hai ki unlimited hi wo ek tarike se announce kare so this is also wrong ye wrong hai bilkul statement second it is saying in the case of cereals and pulses the msp is fixed in any state at a level to which market price will never rise to ye keh rahe hai ki bhai msp agar fix hota hai to it means market price kabhi bhi isse upar nahi ja sakta absolutely wrong this time this time you should know this thing when we announced wheat wheat ka msp humne announce kiya the market price okay specifically in the international market the market price was 40% more than msp msp se 40% tak upar chal raha tha market price this is what was happening in the latest you can say financial year itself ye to bilkul abhi hua hai wheat ka production hamare yahan pe kam ho gaya tha udhar se wo russia ukraine ki ladai shuru ho gayi that was the overall means system here so the right answer is d neither one nor two okay so in this way like even if we don't know about these particular questions to be very precise then also we can attempt those by having trust on your you can say wisdom apne wisdom ko kabhi undermine mat karna wo cheez bahut zaruri hai yahan pe okay so other than that there is nothing much kuch khas nahi hai yahan pe okay so we'll move to the next part and specifically the international news we'll try to find what is there in it okay so here we have india iran sign pact to aid movement of seafarers 
now this is uh, this is really important at this time why because yesterday there was news that some positive news will come from the present eu iran us talks that are going on okay to ye jo inki baat chit chal rahi hai positive results will be out means sanctions on iran माइट बी डायल्यूटेड ईरान के ऊपर जो इकोनॉमिक सेंक्शन लगे हैं उसको थोड़ा कम किया जाएगा ओके एंड इफ दो आर रिड्यूस्ड डेफिनेटली इट मीन्स दैट देर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर इंडिया वो इंडिया के लिए एक बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी होगी दैट वी विल बी एबल टू वर्क ओके इट विल बी अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर इंडिया दैट वी विल बी एबल टू वर्क दिस इज वॉट द होल आइडिया इज अबाउट दिस इज वॉट द होल आइडिया इज अबाउट ठीक है जी तो ये चीज है यहाँ पे ओके okay? other than that other than that there is nothing much kuch khas nahi hai so we'll move to this part now imran khan charged with terrorism okay imran khan ko terrorism ka charge lagaya gaya hai and uh, like this is how things are former prime minister gets the protective bail for next 3 days and we have to wait and watch how things are turning up in pakistan okay so he is drawing really good crowd kafi acha khasa crowd jo hai imran khan की सपोर्ट में आ रहा है यहाँ पे ओके सो लाइक वी हैव टू वेट कि अब क्या से वहाँ पे सिचुएशन बढ़ती है बट पाकिस्तान इज नोन फॉर द पॉलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी सो पाकिस्तान के अंदर पॉलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी रहती ही रहती है एंड यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग लाइक इट इज जस्ट अबाउट पाक आर्मी कंट्रोलिंग मल्टीपल थिंग्स तो पाकिस्तान आर्मी जो है दे आर बेसिकली फायरिंग द शॉर्ट्स ओके एंड दीज डेज देर आर टॉक्स वेदर the new you know pak ar who will be the new pak army chief okay naya pakistan ka army chief kon hoga ye sawal abhi aajkal chal raha hai so this is how things are this is how things are other than that uh, kiev behind killings of dugina okay so uh, daughter of daughter of one of the prominent you can say leaders in russia have been killed now basically that bomb was targeted to assassinate that person okay wo kisi bomb jo hai basically wo alexander dugin that is who is a hardliner russian idol of wo unko target karne ke liye lagaya gaya tha but by mistake she was killed this is how the things are so this is the this is the news and other than that there is nothing much okay uh at unsc india calls on countries to respect each other sovereignty so it is you can say linked with china or russia kahin na kahin china or russia ko yahan pe thoda message diya ja raha hai but things will not turn kyunki all these things are at one point and your national interest is supreme ye sab baatein chalti rehti hain but countries apne national interest ko kabhi undermine nahi karte hain so we may be you can say raising these issues but kuch khas farak nahi padega auto part sector saw record financial 22 sales so it's a really good thing good thing in the sense that it shows that your economy is moving in right direction okay right in the sense because festive season is just around the corner abhi hamara festive season jo hai wo aane wala hai and uh, in this way it is just around the corner or vakai jo hai like this is how you have to understand it there will be means really good returns in the next quarter okay kafi acche returns aayenge why 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 i am saying this because this time rains are really good in india rains monsoon acha raha hai yahan pe okay so when monsoon is good it means that farmers are going to have money in their hands farmers ke haath mein paisa hoga unki income achhi jayegi yahan pe okay so with that rural economy will boom and it is linked with the consumptions okay ye consumption ke sath bhi linked hai to consumption bhi badhegi and the outcome will be it will be a good thing for the indian economy overall this is how the overall scenario is okay other than that there is nothing much uh, sensex slides 1.5% on the fears of federal rate federal rate increase okay so like this is how it was dekhiye jab you know federal bank in united states it increases the rate jab wo rate increase karta hai iska kya matlab hota hai it means that bond yield okay bond yield in us will be better 
बॉन्ड यील्ड बेटर होने का मतलब है बॉन्ड का जो पैसा है दैट इज अश्योर्ड मनी दैट इज रिस्क फ्री ओके बॉन्ड के अंदर जो पैसा लगता है वो अश्योर्ड होता है रिस्क फ्री होता है कि भी आपको इतना तो इंटरेस्ट मिलेगा ही मिलेगा ठीक है जी ना अगर वो आपके रेट इंक्रीज करते हैं तो बॉन्ड के ऊपर जो यील्ड है वो इंक्रीज होता है एंड एज द इन्वेस्टर्स विल गेट मोर बॉन्ड यील्ड इन यूएस दे विल टेक आउट मनी फ्रॉम इंडियन मार्केट इंडियन मार्केट से पैसा ले जाके वो यूएस के बॉन्ड खरीदने में लगा देंगे सो इन दिस वे लाइक मनी मूव आउट ऑफ इंडियन मार्केट एंड इन दिस वे सेंसेक्स ऊपर नीचे होता रहता है ठीक है जी ये पूरा सिस्टम है जो हमें समझना है दिस इज हाउ दिस वर्क सो दिस इज वर्ट द होल आइडिया इज अबाउट ओके सो दैट्स इट फॉर द डे देन थैंक यू वेरी मच